In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to model a cartoon hand. Nice and easy to do. If you've not got Cinema 4D already, go to maxon.net, download section and download the demo. When you've got that and you install it, it should look like this. To model a cartoon hand is really easy inside Cinema 4D. I'll show you how. First of all we need a basic object to begin with to create the general shape of the palm of the hand and for that we can use a cube. So select the cube and don't worry this will soon look cartoony. So there's the basic building shape that we're going to start with and the cube we need to have some extra segments to create the fingers and the thumb outside the main palm so we're going to use the basic cube shape as the palm itself. So in the bottom right the attributes change your segments X to 3 and you should see they then have three segments this way which is the X axis and segment Z to 3 also and then just click, oop, I click too much and you'll see that three then go in the Z direction. Now this is, would be a very blocky hand, so we need to shrink the height of the object. So change size Y to 50, and then it should look like this. So it's looking really blocky at the minute, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is create a hypernerbs object, and this is a really powerful tool that takes a basic blocky object and makes it look much more smooth and organic. So you just select this object, and then drag and drop cube onto hypernerbs and you, it should all round like this and then be nestled inside the hypernerbs like so. So if you didn't quite get that, rewind the movie and do it until you get it. Just zoom in with this icon. So just drag to the right while over this icon. And so we can see what's going on here quite clearly. And then we want to start manipulating this object and add detail to it. So I want to pull out a thumb, the arm and fingers. So we use the polygon tool, which is this icon. And we need to make the cube editable so we can start messing around with this. Once we've done that, we won't have these segments that we can change. Um, but we need to move to this now because we need to go away from a basic cube shape. So it's this icon, make editable. Now you may like working in this version, which allows you to see the, the shape um, but personally I find it a little clearer to turn off this mode so I go edit, configure and then if I just go down here I'll turn off the wireframe and I'll also turn off isoline editing and then I just find that a little clearer to work with myself okay so cube and then we've got the polygon tool selected and then just select this one here and it'll go orange and here we're going to pull out a thumb shape so all we do is we right click, choose extrude, and then away from this, just so you don't accidentally select anything else, just drag to the right. Now if you drag to the right and left, don't release the mouse button, you'll see the different options. So you may want a very loose shape, or you may want it tighter. Now the basic rule of thumb is, boom boom, because we're pulling out the thumb, um, is if you've got two polygons close to each other like here, you'll get a much tighter shape which is what I want. So if you release, you'll then have that here and you'll see you've got a tight shape here. And if you do another one, again, the more that you have close together, the tighter the shape will be. But in this case, I just want that tight shape in, in where the sort of thumb make, meets the palm. So I pull one out. And then the other thing you've got to bear in mind is whether you want to have any change of the shape of the thumb or whether you're going to have any kind of digit uh, joints in the thumb itself. So the thumb generally just has one joint, so we might want to have that, so I'll stop there. So I'll release the mouse button and do it again. Um, or actually thinking about it, I'll just undo that one. I could change the scale at this point, so just scale tool, drag the scale up, and then right click and choose extrude again, like so. And then I might want to scale that one down again. So you can change the scale of these at any point, which is quite cool. Um, and there we've got the basic thumb shape. So we'll just zoom out and have a little look at that. Yep, that looks quite cartoony to me. Next thing we need to do is have a look at the fingers. Actually, that thumb's maybe a touch short, so we'll just grab the move tool and pull that bit out. There we go, that's quite good. And now we'll have a look at the fingers themselves. So the fingers would be these three here. So grab your selection tool which is this one and then just drag over these three here so you've just got the three outer ones and in this case we want to make some fingers so we right click first of all I'm going to do an extrude inner um, which is useful if you want to kind of split these up from three 
turn off preserved groups so then they'll be treated as individuals uh, and then just drag to the left until these are the size of the fingers that you want um, like so so that looks about right now looking at my thing here the um, palm itself these aren't quite square so this might look a bit weird so what we can do is um, afterwards we'll we'll tighten this up so they're, they're a little more square but we'll just finish this off first so what we then do is right click and extrude like so and you can see the inner extrude axis polygons close together so we get that tight thing already so what we're doing here is basically just the first part towards the the knuckles the sort of uh, digit parts um, and you may want to change the scale if you want change the scale up you may want to rotate them so rotate tool and then just drag on the blue handle um, and then we'll try and extrude there as well like so and then you may want to rotate again like so and then extrude out again like so and maybe those last ones we want to scale those down a little bit Oops, undo that, and I'll just come out a little bit like that. Okay, so we've got the basic finger shapes there, um, which look fine. Um, I might want to change the scale itself, so we'll just select all and pop the scale up just so they're a little bit square of those fingers. Yeah, that looks fine and to select all those it's just control A it selects them all so they're all orange and then you may want to change each of these individual fingers so they're not all the same and that's quite easy to grab your select tool grab the end part and to make it easy to select the rest of that finger there's a nice thing in selection if you just go selection and choose grow selection it'll then go up the finger and just keep doing that until you've got all of the part of the finger that you want so it should be three and then I could maybe scale that one down like so or looking at it I might not want it to scale there so I'll undo that undo again so I've just got this part and then I'll just scale that part and then I'll move it up so just grab the move tool and move it in a little bit so it kind of works from the knuckle but then this finger's a little bit smaller maybe I want it even smaller than that there we go so that finger's now looking a little bit different you could maybe twist it slightly so it's just that little bit different like so and then you just do the same principle with the other ones so you may want the first finger to be slightly smaller as well so again we just do selection grow selection selection grow selection and then just scale that Oop. like that and then just move it wherever you want and you see the nice thing with this hypernavs it's so smooth and we're working with very basic polygons so we can do massive changes and it doesn't really matter so we've got that and you know we might even want to rotate that one a touch just so it's slightly different like that and that's how you start making the hand look a little bit different of course you can start putting in bones into this afterwards and do it that way okay so we've got the basic shape of the fingers um, the other part we then need to have a look at is the uh, arm where the arm would go out so again we just select the back here I'm still on my rotate tool so I'm going to use the move tool now and just create just drag this one out so it makes the palm a little rounder and that's where I'm going to pull my arm out of so again we just go right click extrude you could do a small extrude if you want quite a tight transition to the arm and then extrude out again and you can always drag on an icon if you want to just pull that out and then we might want to just rotate that around and do another extrude uh, just to do the rest of the arm. Now you see that's very loose there again so the same principle applies I could undo that one and do a small extrude and then extrude out and you'll get a tighter look so that would be like the elbow so that's probably quite good practice uh, 